Oh, hi, I'm Sid, and I have lots and lots of questions. Oh, there's Mom and Dad. I always ask them my questions, and today I have a really big question. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Hey, buddy. I have a very important question. I want to know, where did I come from? Uh, uh, oh, <clears throat> where did you come from, <laughs> uh, Alice? Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah. Well, we might as well tell him the truth. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Sid. You walk right through that wall, and you'll find out exactly where you came from. What? Mom and Dad have totally lost it. <laughs> no, no, really, you can do it. Just uh, go yeah. right through the wall and but ask your big question. Here, look. Huh? Whoa! Yeah. That's totally cool. Okay. Right. Well, let me try. Yeah. Oh, this is ah, weird, but awesome. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, Sid. Hey. Oh, um, hi. <laughs> uh, so, um... Do you guys know where I came from? <laughs> Why, yes, we do. Ooh. Sid, you actually started out as a chunk of clay that was then sculpted into what we call a maquette. Wow, the miracle of science. Then your maquette was scanned into a super high-tech device known as a computer, at which point you became a series of zeros and ones. Wow, I feel so loved! <laughs> and finally, you officially became a digital puppet. Now your every movement and vocal utterance is controlled by our world-famous Henson puppeteers and bodysuit performers. What? And now our highly trained staff of digital puppet scientists shall explain the fascinating and easy to understand technical side of digital puppetry. Okay. Well, the process is really pretty simple. I write the software that brings Sid and the other characters to life on stage. All those lines and uh, nerve surfaces, polygon surfaces come into the computer and we simply kind of connect those individual uh, vertices. And then they rig up the joints to the polygons with the either skin clusters or blend shapes. Yep. We have multiple stages running with multiple characters, but it's all in real time in multiple scales. And we have suit performers with tracking markers on the stage. They take an exporter that I wrote to convert the Maya scene into an OpenSG scene. There's so much I just don't get. Uh, different scales, different worlds, different characters, but it all comes together in a real time comp that everybody can use as their vision of reality. All the zeros and ones that go into those frames, really important. Ones and zeros, yeah. Now this is fascinating. The code that I'm writing is uh, yeah. based on a real-time Linux kernel, and we apply custom patches to make sure we get the lowest latency we can. It's written in C++. Whoa! Ha. Yep, yep. Polygons are very important, and especially the polycon. Okay! Um, <laughs> well, good luck with all that stuff you just said, and, um, gotta be going now. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> hey, look who's back. So, what'd you think, son? I never want to go back to that world again. I don't even want to think about it. Oh, oh. you won't have to. No, what? just uh, take a look right here. Um, okay. Okay, I'm ready to start my day. Can I go play with my friends? Sure, sweetie. Yay! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Almost ran right into the counter. <laughs> <laughs>